What is e rupee? Let's understand in this video, my dear friends. This will essentially be like a prepaid gift voucher that will be redeemable at any specific accepting centers without any credit or debit card, a mobile app or internet banking. PM Modi launched e rupee on 2nd August 2021. Analysts believe it will be a good entry towards Indian digital currency. It can be considered somewhat like a Sudexo coupon that the government will pass on directly to citizens so that it can be used it, it without having access to the online banking payment apps or other traditional payment modes. With e rupee, it can be expected that the unbanked sections of society will easily get access to financial support for health service, children welfare, medicines, fertilizers, subsidies, and more. e rupee is a cashless and contactless digital payment medium which will be delivered to the mobile phones of beneficiaries in form of an SMS string or a QR code. The new digital payment mode eRupee is a basically a prepaid voucher that can be issued directly to citizens after verifying mobile number and identity. Which banks are supporting eRupee at present? Thankfully, major banks like State Bank of India, ICICI Bank, HDFC Bank, Punjab National Bank and others are fully supporting e rupee for issuance e rupee coupons as well as redeeming them. Right now, there are 11 banks supporting e rupee. Banks so that are fully supporting. You can see the chart here, my dear friends. Note that some banks can only issue e rupee vouchers but cannot accept them. They are Canada Bank, Indus Bank, Indian Bank, Kotak Bank, Union Bank of India. The biggest advantage is that there is no need to use any app or have access to internet banking to use this service. Are there global examples of voucher based welfare system? Introduced in US for the school voucher. Later, this system has been used in several other countries such as Colombia, Israel, Sweden, Hong Kong, etc. The platform has been developed by the National Payment Corporation of India, Department of Financial Service, Ministries and Subsidies. What are the use cases of e rupee? According to the government, e rupee is expected to ensure a leak proof delivery of welfare services to the public. The government also said that even the private sectors can leverage this digital voucher as a part of their employee welfare and corporate social responsibility programs. The government is already working on developing a central bank digital currency and a launch of e rupee. Could potentially highlight the gaps in digital payment infrastructure that will be necessary for the success of future digital currency. Share this video if you like it. Thank you.